Hello, welcome back to the Orden shot. We're um, showing some photographs taken with the Shinon CE4 uh, shot on FP4 and developed in Ilfotec LC29. No more microfen. I needed uh, the therapy of using a trusted camera a trusted film and a trusted developer after recent experiences with microfen. So um, I'm going to show you some photographs. Uh, two trips. One was a walk around um, a part of Blythe. And the second part was taken at the Blythe Battery near the beach. And uh, the, all the shots at Blythe Battery and the beach were taken with the yellow filter. We'll have a look at the photos and here they come. First batch of photographs were taken on the walk around Blythe. Um, the sky was quite featureless most of the time. But here we have the FP4 look where the grain is there but it's, uh, it doesn't overpower the photographs. And it's a testament to the film that we're starting to see some detail in the sky even though there was no filter used. Especially on this shot here where you see nice fluffy clouds. The old police station is currently unoccupied. I think it's a protected building, so it might have a fire at some stage in the near future. And this is a pub which featured in a programme about the bouncers not so long ago. And I always say when you're out and about, don't forget to look up, see some nice features on buildings. I bet there's not many people in Blythe would recognise that building. Right, we're at the Blythe Battery and Beach Huts. I've got a few shots here of the Beach Huts. I like the shape. They're very colourful, but uh, the repetition of shapes lends itself to black and white. Um, the shape of the huts appears on a lot of publicity about Blythe. I like the sky on this shot with the yellow filter. I do like the look of Ilford FP4. And uh, this is path down to the promenade. The beach is actually hidden because the tide's in. And a wonky fence or railing. It was quite windy that day, as you can see. There was even a little aeroplane right in the top, heading towards Newcastle Airport. All I can say is it really is good to be using LC29 again. The um, experience I had with Microfen was quite traumatic, I think. So, what's in the pipeline? More cameras, more films, more home development, and looking forward to it. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot. Bye.